Hey guys, what is up? Welcome to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick review, some swatches, some comparisons, a tutorial on the new Charlotte Tilbury Celestial Pearl Quad. So if you want to hear my thoughts on that, keep watching. But before we get into that, I did just want to say that this is actually my first time physically filming since hearing about the news of Mel Thompson passing. Um, and I did want to verbally acknowledge that on my channel as well because it's a huge loss in the beauty community and I actually took the last couple of days off of filming because it hit me it affected me a lot harder than I ever could have imagined that it would have and I know a lot of you are feeling the same way as well you know the fact that I could feel so deeply connected to a person through our interests and through beauty through a computer screen says so much about Mel and her character and what a good person that she is. So, you know, she will be missed greatly on this platform. It is not going to feel the same in this community. Anytime a review comes out, there's always going to be one missing. So I just want to send all my love to her family. I can only imagine what they are going through right now. And uh, as viewers, I think it's important that you guys and myself, we respect her family and let give them their time that they need to mourn. I'm going to awkwardly shift to my intro and we'll get into the video. I'm going to do a little review on the new Charlotte Tilbury Luxury Palette of Pearls in Celestial Pearl. I got it in the mail the other day and I can't wait to try it. I love a good Charlotte Tilbury quad. Now, I've actually had a few of you message me asking where the other quad in this holiday collection is because there's supposed to be two pearl palettes. My guess is as good as yours. I don't know. It's still not on the website at the moment that I'm filming this. So we only have one. They look kind of similar in some of the sneak peeks that I saw. So I I don't know, but I don't know where it's at. I'm waiting for it as well. But here is what the packaging itself is going to look like. If you need to see the details on the back, it's going to be right here for your convenience. This is going to be $56, and you are supposed to light up your eyes with the new pearlescent eyeshadow palette, including pearly pink, gold, and rose gold. Now, for me, the selling point on this is most definitely the packaging. I just think it's gorgeous, and in camera, I don't even think you can see the true detail of this. It's not just plain white. There's almost like iridescent marbling going on behind the design here. It's so stunning. It's heavy. This is actually, I would say, much nicer than the original normal quad packaging. It just feels heavier and more luxe. This palette is made in Italy and it has an 18 month shelf life. Here is the back as per usual. It's gonna have her suggestions on how to use these. You do have a mirror when you open it and it does hold itself up and you're going to have the four shades right here and you will instantly see that this palette is not about the depth at all. And something to keep in mind, and this is a mistake I've made in the past as well. Typically, her palettes and her quads aren't always about depth. She does carry some products that do have depth in her line, but Charlotte Tilbury is known for the glow, and even when it comes to eye makeup, sometimes she doesn't like depth in the eyeshadow. She'll let the eyeliner or the mascara do the depth, and she just likes a light glowy lid. So that's something to keep in mind with this palette because there isn't depth. Now, if the fact that there is no depth in this turns you off, I mean, absolutely for $56, please save your money. But we're gonna see how this looks because normally I'll look at a quad like this and I'm like so light but then I put it on the eyes and it just looks good okay so let's do our swatches here this is going to be the prime shade then this is the enhance shade this is the pop shade and I'll put the smoke shade on my them. Here are what the swatches are looking like. You can see the colors definitely are different, but not that different. <laughs> okay, let me show you. So this would be the prime shade. Absolutely beautiful, nice and thick. This is the enhanced shade. That's the one that looks like it has the duochrome shift to it. This is the pop shade and then the enhanced shade. So they swatch absolutely beautifully. None of them are extremely, extremely creamy. She has this 
powder formula that is super duper wet and creamy and thick feeling. These two felt quite creamy. I wouldn't say her creamiest formula, but this one's up there in the creaminess. But yeah, you just see light pink shimmers here. They look really pretty. Enhanced shade has a pink to gold shift that might be difficult to see. I really like the texture of the pop shade. It's her good pop shade formula. It doesn't seem like it's going to get hard panned as easily as her pops normally do. I'm priming my eyelids with a little bit of this Revlon concealer that I'm using. This brush looks dirty, I swear it's not. <laughs> but we're going to use this shade as our base color. So this I'm kind of putting all over the crease. It's okay to use shimmers in the crease, especially if you're either using like a Tom Ford formula, a Charlotte Tilbury formula, of course, or Pat McGrath, Natasha Denona. All of them have shimmers that are so good you look good in the crease and this shade looked very very bright by swatch but you can see on my skin tone having this in the crease it is giving me a touch of depth nonetheless it's definitely more about that glow but it really is awakening my eyes while also giving a little bit of depth okay we're going to use the smoke shade now I'm going to put this on the outer corner and again, this is shimmery. It definitely is not a matte shade. This is going to add just a touch of depth out here. I'm gonna use the tip of the brush. We're gonna go into the first shade that we used. I'm gonna line the entire lower lash. And by the way, I'm using a Wayne Goss number six brush for all of this. So you see how that brightened up the lower lash line. I'm gonna use something a little bit tinier. This is the e.l.f. blending brush. We're going to go into the smoke shade. Make sure we can define at least the outer half of the lower lash line. Let's test out this shade right here. This is the one that definitely caught my eye. It's the one with the shift. So we are going to put this all over the lid. While this does leave a little bit of sheerness underneath, you can very slightly see the skin peeking through. It actually gives much more coverage than I was expecting. And it's glimmery goodness, and you can see the gorgeous shift all over the lid. It doesn't need a wet brush or anything. This looks even more stunning in person. I think Charlotte Tilbury really did a good job with this formula. I don't think we've had a shifty shade quite like this before from her. Formula is really, really nice. And then finally, we are going into the pop shade now. And we're just gonna pop that pretty much everywhere to really make the eyes glimmer a little bit. And this is very, very subtle. I honestly don't even feel like she needed a pop shade in here because the shade is so glittery. Putting this on top, it's not really standing out. But if I didn't have this shade, on my lid first, the pop shade would stand out, if that makes sense. So layering those two lid shades together, I mean, it did add a little bit extra, but it wasn't completely necessary. I almost wish the pop shade wasn't in there and we had something else to change up the look. But anyways, I'm going to put on some liner and lashes. And here's the thing, when it comes to Charlotte Tilbury, a lot of times I'm not impressed by looking at it or even swatching it. But once the whole look is together, I always love it. And I can tell I'm gonna love this with some liner and lashes because my eyes are glowing and awake. And I think that is the kind of effect that this particular quad is going to give you. Glowiness and awakeness. Anyways, I'll be right back. So here is the finished look with some false lashes, a little bit of liner. It just gives an overall glowy, glimmery effect. Very traditionally Charlotte Tilbury. I mean, I absolutely love this look. I think it's particularly glowy in this formulation here. While all of her quads give a more glowy appearance, there's something about this one that's a little bit more striking and eye awakening. So with that being said, you guys know I have quite a large Charlotte Tilbury collection when it comes to eyeshadows. So I did want to compare this to a few that I thought could be compared. So 
let's get into that. So first things first, let's compare to the other eyeshadow palette that came out in the holiday collection this year. This is the Smoky Eyes Forever. Obviously a different price point, a different layout here, but you will notice that in the first trio here, it's those light pinky shades. So here's how they're going to look next to one another. I swatched this shade, this shade, and this shade to just put it against the deepening shade. So on this side is the Celestial Pearl, and these are the three shades from the Smoky Eyes Forever. They are not very similar, in my opinion. This palette is definitely a deeper, different formulation. Now this next one is very, very interesting. So this is one of the, I don't know if it was a holiday quad last year. This came out after the holidays, like in the very beginning of January. This was a set of three that actually came out, but these are the Hollywood Flawless eye filters. This is Star Aura. I do not believe you can get this anymore, but here is how it compares to Celestial Pearl. You can see very, very, very similar vibe, right? Those bright pinks. So right here is Celestial Pearl. Here is Star Aura. Honestly, doesn't the Star Aura even look like it swatches a little bit better? The Celestial Pearl is definitely all about the shimmers, the glimmers, a little bit lighter, whereas these have a little bit more smoothness to them. But but to be quite honest, you guys, I think if you have Star Aura, you definitely do not need a Celestial Pearl just because they're going to give you that similar bright eyed effect on the eyelid for $56. Definitely, if you have Star Aura, you don't need Celestial Pearl. That being said though, I like this look. Okay, <laughs> let's move on to the next comparison. But I think these two are definitely the most similar. Let's compare it to the classic Exaggerize. So here's how they're going to look with one another. And here are the swatches. So right here is the Exaggerize. These are different. They're gonna give a similar effect on the eye, but I find that Exaggerize pulls pretty warm on the eyelid and you definitely have some different textures here, but these two, they're different. They're similar, but they're different. I don't know. I wanted to do a comparison with the Pillow Talk palette of Pops. So this is all the Pop formula, but since this shade is quite shimmery, I did want to compare them, but you can see they're, they're really not the same. Um, and even in swatches, not so much. And last comparison that I have for reference for you is the Dreamgasm eyeshadow palette. So you can see obviously Dreamgasm is really, really warm and I just still decided to go through with the comparisons because I thought these two shades were kind of close. Uh, so those are gonna be the top two shades right here. And honestly, the top two shades in the Dreamgasm are similar to the vibe of the Celestial Pearl, but they are quite different. So as far as similarities, you can definitely find some very good friends and siblings within her line, but let me tell ya, definitely if you have Star Aura from last year, I would think heavily on whether or not you need this. But here's the thing, I like Celestial Pearl better than I like this palette from last year. I wasn't too crazy about it. I think this one is prettier, the packaging is prettier, you get more dimension. It's an all around better palette, but if you're trying to save yourself $56, you don't need it if you have this. All right, you guys, that is all I have for today's quick review. Overall, I really do enjoy this palette. However, realistically, is it worth $56? No, I rarely ever will say Charlotte Tilbury quads are worth $56. You know, would you pay $56 to get an eye look like this? But if you do appreciate the Charlotte Tilbury formula like myself, you're a collector or you like the overall glowy, wide awake look, I do actually really like this one and I think we get some unique formulas in here. So this one I wasn't expecting to like as much as I did but I'm very very happy to have this in my collection especially I'm a big packaging person so I like it but it's not the end all be all okay it's not fire rose status I'll say that if that helps you out so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys continue to stay well and that you're doing okay thank you guys so much for being subscribed to me and all of your support and liking this video I will see you in the next one